Warning, this feels pasta contains content that may upset some viewers. If you are easily sensitive, please click away from this video. Viewer discretion is advised. Oliver and her company is one of my favorite Disney movies from the 80s. I first heard about this movie from a Disney sing-along songs videotape that my grandmother used to own. My favorite character in this movie is Jenny Foxworth. The reason I like her is because her design is very cute and she has a nice voice. Even her song, Good Company, is beautiful. Anyways, here's a question. Have you watched a scene where Jenny meets Fagin while looking for Oliver, but is later kidnapped by Bill Sykes? I find that scene very emotional because Jenny's voice is pretty sad and the atmosphere, if you ask me, is pretty dark. However, it would get even more emotional when I found a lead version of it. Sorry for this, Stephanie, it's just... Never mind. It was a Saturday afternoon, and I was playing Lego Avengers on my PlayStation 4. I was running around Manhattan as Quicksilver, while the other character I had with me as was Hulk, as he appears in Avengers Age of Ultron. I thought I would want to do something else. I decided to take a walk down to the library to pick up some new movies. While I locked out of the library, I got an email notification from, on my phone. The email was from George Scribner, the director of Oliver & Company. I was quite surprised to get an email from a movie director. I waited until I got home to read the message. Once I got back, I opened the full letter. Here's what it read. Dear Name Withheld, I would like to present to you an alternate version of the scene from Oliver & Company where Bill Sykes kidnaps Jenny. But I would prefer if you do this only for yourself. Kind regards, George Scribner. After reading the email, I clicked on the file that was attached to the letter. The file's name was Oliver and Company Kidnapping Jenny.mp4. Once the video finished downloading, I clicked on the video and it played. But a warning came up. This scene of Oliver and Company was changed to be less emotional. It contains content that can sadden some viewers. Watch if you must. Eh, I've seen worse. This is rather interesting. The scene began like normal with Jenny trying to read a map to find the person who kidnapped Oliver. Jenny could have figured out how to read the map, so she claimed that she and Georgette were lost. Georgette's doing her usual panting like always. Stay close, Georgette. It's creepy down here, Jenny said. Whoever's looking for their lost kitty, don't even think about it, a voice out of nowhere said. Is anyone here? Jenny asked. Meanwhile, Fagin and his dogs were standing on the pier were trying to wait for either Bill or Jenny. For some reason, there was a change that was much different from the final film. Bill went to see what was on the matter with Jenny. Jenny had explained to Bill that she was lost and was looking for a cat, but something was different this time. The voice actor for Jenny would sound way more emotional than usual, like she was actually crying. Somehow, there were tears coming down from, her, from Jenny's eyes, and they looked like a lot like they were, came from black and white drawing. I come home from school, only to find that Oliver is gone. Oliver is named my kitty. Or the kitty. Jenny said to Bill. Yes, I know Oliver. That old kitten thing and showed me. Bill replied to Jenny. Suddenly, Rita showed up. She said, Sir, Oliver was adopted by Jenny. Besides, he's not like us. He's a kitten. Bill gasped in shock when he heard Rita talk. Just then, Doctor came out angry and said, Rita, what are you doing? Oliver's not going anywhere. Dodger, stop. From over here, I can imagine some fun things that Jenny and Oliver can do during their lifetime. Rita replied. And then began to show a montage of Jenny and Oliver doing some fun things like playing with toys, celebrating Oliver's birthday, having a show and tell at school, sitting on the swings in the park, taking a bath, and others. About the bath scene, Oliver got scared when he saw the water splash on him, while Jenny, who was in the bathtub, chuckled. During the montage, a sad orchestra version of Good Company played. I was almost on the edge of crying because the things that Oliver and Jenny were doing could have reminded me of stuff I could have done in my childhood. As soon as the montage ended, Rita started shedding tears. Dodger, please, you have to let it go, Rita said to Dodger. No, he's staying with us. Now live with it, or I'll kick your ass. Dodger said. I gasped at that point. Why would Dodger even say that in this movie? Suddenly, Jenny heard a voice that sounded like Fagin calling her name. As Jenny ran off, 
Dodger Rita began to have an argument. After that, Dodger then told Bill Sykes that Jane was a thief and he this triggered him. He got back in his car waiting for Jane to come out. Meanwhile, Fangy was seen holding Oliver and this made Jane rather happy. The rest of the scene continued normal with Bill approaching Jenny. Bill then grabbed Jenny by the arm and dragged her into his car. Jenny, on the other hand, let out the same scream from the original film. The dogs began barking in every manner. Oliver began to wonder what happened to Jenny only to realize that Bill took her. Listen, kid, I'm sorry for all the behavior I've caused to you and Rita. Tell you what, I hope you find your owner, Dodger said. Y you will? Oliver asked. Hey, absolutely, absolutely, kid, Dodger replied. Somehow the scene ended there. At that moment, I began crying. Not just because of Jenny's sad voice, but because of the montage argument between Roger and Rita. I cried for only two minutes. And then I got the idea of saving the file to my Google Drive. Later that night, I took my portrait of Jenny Foxworth that I had in my room and put it in the side of my bed. It's because if I have mem memories of that sad clip, I know I can think of some happy thoughts. The next day, I replied to George Scribner's email and said that it definitely made me cry. He apologized and said that it was the only thing he'll share with me. As some people say, Disney movies can sometimes make us sad.